let's check these three examples here uh, in relationship to what we have checked. Now, prove the following identities that are sine of square theta cot theta sec theta should give you sine. Then you have this side equals to the other side. Then you have this function here. And you also have what is on the right hand side. Now, we shall check each question at a go. So, we start with the first one. Now, so let's start solving. So, we have the sine of square theta. Now, when you're solving these trigonometric identities by the end of the day, we are checking them in relationship to what we have. So we have the ratios, then we have the three trigonometric identities. Now, let's start at this point. Now, the best thing you always do, the best thing to do, uh, depending on what you have on the right-hand side, is always to put your unknown, or we have your variables on the, whichever side that you're using to be in terms of sine and cos. That uh, is the best way to, to go uh, to do that. But it depends basically with the function itself. Are together depending on the identities that you are that you're having so in our case here since on the right hand side we have a sign then that means whatever we have on this other side should either be the basic should be to the basic form which is in terms of cos and sine so we have the right hand side at uh, the left hand side so in the first one we shall have so we shall have the sine of square theta so we have sine of square theta all right then we have what is cot we said cot is cos over sine cos theta over sine theta. Then what is sec? Sec is one of what? One over cosine of theta. Is that true? Yes. So we have the cot, which is cos over uh, sine of theta. Then we have, uh, we have sec, which is one over cos of theta. So remember, we are solving one side. You cannot use this side to, to prove that it is the same with this side. So we use uh, the, far, the side that has uh, the expanded function, then we prove that it is the same with the function on the other side. Are we together? So now, what do you do here? Now remember the sine of square theta, from what we know, this can also be written as sine theta then squared. Are we together? So this means basically these are two sines, right? These are two sines multiplied together. Then you have cos over sine and one over cos. Now, as simple as it is, you can cancel that with that. Are we together? Then you have a sign here, and you have two signs here. So how many signs do you remain with? If you cancel one sign here, or sine of theta, with one sine of theta here, what do you remain with? You remain with sine of theta. Ta we have already proven that indeed this side is the same as what? The left hand side, uh, the right hand side, which is what? Sine of theta. And we are done. Very done. Let's come to the second one. So the second one we have, tan of x. So remember, uh, theta is just a general uh, representation. You can be given an angle in terms of any variable. It can be a, it can be b, it can be x, it can be z. So in, term, uh, in the second one, we have, used, uh, we have used x. Now again, let's come to the first. So we can solve the numerator. So in the second, sorry. So we can solve the numerator first, then the denominator. So let's expand here. So what is tan? Tan is given by what? Tan is the same as sine. Now our variable is x over the cosine of x. Very simple. Let's go to the sec. What is sec? Sec, we said it is one over what? One over cos of cos of x. Right together. Now, since the denominator here, you treat them as a fraction. This is a fraction, this is another fraction. You can put them together to be one fraction. But you can see the denominator is the same. So we can say our LCM. Is just the cosine of x. This one goes here one, one times sine of x gives you sine of x. Cos again goes here one. Then basically you are saying if you have the same denominator, sorry for that. If you have the same denominator, if you have the same denominator, what you just add are just the, the numerators, all right? So we take this uh, common denominator, put it at the, at the, at the bottom, then you add the values at the numerator. So the numerator will be expanded to become this. Now let's go to the denominator. So we have the denominator. Now what is sec again? Sec is given by one over, uh, one over cos of x. Now let's go, uh, let's have check this. So we have one. What is tan? Tan is given by plus sine x over cosine of x divide by what is sec 
sec is 1 over 1 over cos of x. Are we together? Now, again, this bracket here, so again, I can just say this one is 1 over the cosine of x, and I have 1. Now, you have sine of x over cos, then you have 1 over cos. Now, treating this as a fraction again, this is a fraction, this is a fraction. You are dividing one fraction to the other. When you change it into multiplication, what do you have? This is the same as saying plus. Let me put it in bracket. It will be sine of x, cosine of x. But since you were changing it to a multiplication, the normal way we do fractions, you reciprocate this. So you multiply by cosine of x over, over 1, sorry. So it will be cos of x over 1. So we have just uh, we have just reciprocated the denominator. So we have this fraction here. Multiply now, reciprocate the denominator. Then you have uh, uh, you have cos of what? Cos uh, over one. So again, you can simplify this again. So we have this can cancel with that. So we are saying we shall have one over the cosine of x inside, which shall remain with one plus. So these and these have cancelled, so you remain with what? Sine of, sine of x. So that is it. So expanding this, so expanding the value outside uh, these and this, so we shall have 1 plus sine of x all over the cosine of, the cosine of x. That is the denominator. So our numerator is this, our denominator is this. So again, putting them together, so you can just put them together and say now, and... Hence, uh, putting the numerator and denominator together, so sine of x plus 1 all over cos of x, we have that, then divide by, remember, this is the numerator divided by the denominator, which is 1 plus sine of x all over the cosine of what? Cosine of x. Again, this is a fraction, this is a fraction, so you can change them into multiplication. So this one again is the same as saying sine of x plus 1 over cosine of x, right? Then multiply by, reciprocate this. So you shall have cosine of x all over 1 plus sine of x. Now we have a cos, remember you're multiplying here. Just put a, a, a dot, but uh, basically uh, you're just multiplying. So this cancels with that. What is 1 plus 2? Gives you 3. And what is 2 plus 1? It also gives you 3. So sine of x plus 1 is the same as 1 plus sine of x. So this one, this one cancels with that, this one cancels with that. And what do you have by the end of the day? You have 1 as the answer. Alright? So this one goes here once and once, once and once. 1 times 1 gives you what? 1. And we have proven our identity that these all um, function on the left hand side just uh, simplifies to become what simplifies to become to become one now let us check the last one that is uh, the one that relates the cot and the cosec all right so again, the third, so the third, we shall have a 1 plus cot, uh, cot of theta squared plus 1 minus cot of um, theta then squared, that it should give you uh, 2 cos x squared theta. Now, this, we expand this function as any other function that we, that we expand binomially or, um, yes, any other function, any square function, that how we expand it. So how do you expand square functions? We say it is always the first term squared twice the multiplication of the first and the second plus the second term squared. So this basically will be 1 squared, which will be 1. Twice plus twice the multiple of this and this. So 1 times cot of theta gives us cot of, cot of theta. Right together. Then plus the second term squared. So cot squared theta. The first term squared, twice the multiplication of this and this. So 1 times this gives you the cot, then plus the cot of theta. So we have that. Uh, say to bracket plus. 
Then the same here. It's a square function, so it is one again. Now twice. Now let me put let me just put a positive first. Now the multiplication of this and this. Remember, this is one multiplied by negative cot. So one times negative cot gives you negative cot. So this uh, the our sign here changes to become negative. It is not positive now. All right. Now it changes to become to become negative. So negative two cot uh, cot of cot of theta. Then this term. So negative cot squared. When you square negative, it just becomes positive. So plus cot squared theta. Remember, we are now solving the left hand side. All together. Now let us open the bracket. So we shall have one plus two cot of theta plus cot sorry plus cot squared theta. Then plus one minus two cot of theta plus two. Oh no, there's not two. Sorry. Plus cot squared theta. So that is the expansion. So we shall have this. Now we can take like and unlike terms. So we have a, a constant here and a constant. So one plus one gives us two. Okay. Negative. Uh, we have two cot theta and a negative so this and this cancels out because this one is a positive this one is a negative then you have cot square theta plus cot square theta they are how many now two cot squared theta so you have one we have one so you add them together they become two so good two cot square theta now so we can now uh, what is the common between the two so we have two and take the two outside and you remain with one plus Cot squared theta, all right? But now, do we know something that relates one plus cot squared theta? Yes, yes. We know that one plus cot squared theta gives us cosec squared theta. So we can replace all this with just what? Cosec. So we are saying, replacing since, I'll just put here since. Uh, let me have it here. You see, since 1 plus cot squared theta gives us cosec squared theta. So we will see here. Therefore, where we have 1 plus cot squared theta, we replace with this. So therefore, we shall have, hence, hence we shall have 2. Then the whole of this is replaced by what? Cosec squared theta. Therefore, our answer is 2 cosec squared theta. And have we proven that indeed this gives us this? Yes, we have proven that the expansion of this just gives us 2 cosec squared theta. So this is just an application. They are indeed when it comes to trigonometric identities, when it comes to proving identities, basically you have the question and you have the answer in the same place. So it is upon you to apply the knowledge that you know from trigonometric identities to prove whatever you are, you have been given. So there is no particular formula of solving this. It is just on your knowledge on trigonometric what? Trigonometric identities. Kindly try as much example as possible and kindly keep note because we shall be checking questions from next past papers as we progress in trigonometry. So having known this, uh, now let us now check something else called the compound angles identity so we have already checked three then we now check others now called the compound angles identities